barricaded herself and her daughter inside their home. State officials came to the house to remove the daughter from the home. That's according to a family member out here on the scene. Godboldo came to the attention of Child Protective Services after she decided to stop giving her 13-year-old controversial antipsychotic medication. The mom refuses to give her daughter medication because the drugs caused her to become violent. The Department of Human Services attempted to take the child uh, from the mother. Godbaldo barricaded herself in her home and this lasted 10 hours. Mary Ann was hauled off to prison for five days. Ariana is now at a pediatric psychiatric facility where Godbaldo claims she's being abused. Freedom! Community groups have rallied on behalf of the family, saying parents should decide their children's medical treatment. A mother took the stand today defending her rights as a parent. At the heart of it is the question, who decides what the best medical care is for a child, the government or the parents? The most egregious problem with the Godboldo order is the fact that no judge reviewed the document that can change the course of a child's life. Probation officers rubber stamp presiding Judge Leslie Kim Smith's signature onto the removal orders. This is testimony that child advocates call shocking. That was a devastating, harmful drug that should not be prescribed for this child. And no one looked at that. There are a multitude of lawsuits against the pharmaceutical company of Risperdal right now. So you felt essentially they were putting poison in your daughter's body? Psychotic medication is poison. She was just trying to protect her daughter when police came to her door. It was terrifying, but I kept my composure because I knew that my daughter's life and her future was at stake. I did it because I wanted to save my child. And let me tell you, she is not giving up this fight. The judge ruled the order removing 12-year-old Ariana from her mother's home back in March of this year was unconstitutional. After months of fighting, Marianne Godboldo left court with an order to finally take her daughter home. Today, the judge ruled it was a parent's job, not the state's, to oversee medication, claiming a victory for parents everywhere.